Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Michelle. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite shampoos that I use for low porosity hair. Pros and the cons of why it's so important to choose your shampoos wisely. So before we jump into the video, I would appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. If this is your first time tuning in and you like the vibe, hit that subscribe button. Before we get into like the products, I just want to give you just a quick backstory. I've been natural for about eight years. I consider my hair 3C, 4A. There was a lot of controversy when it comes to like hair's porosity, texture. I'm going to stick with what I know. And I'm going to stand on that because the products that I have used for my hair's porosity has worked really well in length retention and just overall like how well I'm able to keep my hair moisturized. When it comes to shampooing your hair, it all depends on like how frequently you choose to wash your hair. But for me personally, I wash my hair when I notice an excessive amount of sebum, dandruff, itchiness, and so on and so forth. Your hair is going to speak to you regardless. Your hair is going to let you know when it needs that wash. So now when it comes to washing, you want to make sure that you're very mindful about what you put in your hair when you are washing. Sometimes I know we're rushing, we may be out and about at a friend's house or this is all that you have in your closet. You're going to have to be more mindful. Okay. Sometimes, just sometimes, those products that you're putting in your hair are the reason that your hair is dry, breaking, not growing, not thriving, just getting to its best potential. And I'm going to tell you why. Whenever you're going shopping for products, you want to look for products that do not contain sulfates. Sulfates, parabens, anything like that because those ingredients are drying. If you're already starting out and your hair is super dry, why would you go ahead and just put something else on it that's going to make it worse? You get what I'm saying? These are the things that you should be really mindful going forward after you watch this video because your girl got the tea and I'm going to put you on. For my trusses, baby, she be thirsty. Okay, without a doubt, if nothing else, she needs moisture at all times. So I'm always going to look for products that are going to give me that moisture instead of taking that moisture. That's why it's important to just take a little extra time in the store and look at the back of ingredients. You want to look for key ingredients such as honey. Honey is always going to be your number one factor when it comes to moisture because it's a humectant and that is going to put that moisture back in. Aloe vera is just key. If you've been here for a while, you guys know how much I love aloe. Two things are really good and also products that contain glycerin. Don't even look for things that contain sulfates and parabens and all that because you are going to regret it. Your hair is going to suffer and you're going to be right back where you started from. You want things that are going to put moisture back into your hair. Make your hair look shiny, luscious, and make them curls pop, okay? That's what you want to get out of a good wash day. So we're going to jump right into it. This may not work for your hair, but these are the products that have worked for me. So if you have my hair type, my hair texture, something similar, then keep on watching. A lot of them I don't have right now because I've run out. I will put it on the screen. This one is, mm, oops, sorry, y'all. I got coils and curls. This is for you by Tia Mary. Sister, sister, the clarifying shampoo, absolutely love, okay? There's so many things that I can say about it. When you are shampooing your hair, the most important thing that you can do, especially if you haven't washed your hair in about a good three to four weeks, depending on how your hair is at the moment, you want to make sure that your first choice is a shampoo that's going to really cleanse your scalp. Why do you want a cleanser? Because you want to remove all the buildup that sits on our scalp. When you have sebum and excess buildup and gunk from gel and products, that is suffocates the scalp right that's going to clog your pores if your pores are clogged oxygen is not getting to your scalp which means your hair is not going to grow our hair grows from our roots so if you have too much product and you're not washing your hair and cleansing it that can cause some issues as well for you my tia she did a big one on this one number one the first ingredient on this okay is going to be water when you're shopping for shampoos Make sure that the first ingredient is aqua, okay? H2O, water, whatever you may call it. Make sure it's precipitation. Water is one of the best ingredients for natural hair. Water is gonna be your first component whenever you do any styling to your hair, whatever it is, make sure that it's water. So many good ingredients and we're not gonna try to even sound them out, but the ones that stand out to me that, that let me know that this was gonna be a win is apple cider vinegar, glycerin, like I mentioned. Apple cider vinegar in itself is a great cleanser. It's going to remove all those toxins from your scalp. You don't have to be a scientist to understand any of these. Whatever you want to know, you can just Google, okay? Because Google will Google be my best friend. I say all that to say, why do I like it? Because there is Hemi 15, which is really good at repairing the hair. Helps with elasticity. It just helps to, nour to nourish the hair. And then, of course, you got the goat, which is the apple cider vinegar, baby. And that's going to get... All of that build up out, it helps with shine, dullness. It really does good at cleansing naturally by itself. Love this shampoo, one, it cleanses great. It has a great lather, okay? And if you have a lot of buildup, you want something that's gonna give you all that soap and all of that, all them bubbles because that is gonna let you know 
it's getting the job done. Within my first wash, my hair already feels so clean. Not only that, when it's time to rinse it out, my hair does not feel stripped. Ever washed your hair and then after rinsing it, your hair just felt like straw and you were like, where's the conditioner? Her shampoo is so bomb. It's very lightweight, so it's not really strong in fragrance, which doesn't really bother me because I don't really care about the smell. I care about the benefits behind it. Great lather, light fragrance, leaves the hair feeling moisturized and you can still detangle. What shampoo do you know that's going to allow you to be able to run your fingers through it after a shampoo? No deep conditioner, nothing. No hair mask, no nothing. It looks super moisturized. And on top of that, I know you guys know how expensive some products can be. Take it from somebody who has been through a lot of different products along my journey. Sometimes it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up, you know what I mean? There's a lot of products that failed me, disappointed me, and I was just like, that could stay on the shelf. Not only are her products all clean, and like safe for your hair but her price point is insane literally insane i think the best that i've seen thus far so you're gonna get clean ingredients healthy shiny hair and it's for the low my next shampoo shampoo number two is the shea moisture raw shea butter deep moisturizing shampoo with sea kelp and argan oil i personally like shea moisture is because they have a line aided to everybody there's not just one line for just one specific hair type. They have so many different lines that you can choose from, but this one by far is my favorite when it comes to shampoos. I've been using this shampoo since day one, since your girl had that TWA. If you know what a TWA stands for, comment that down below. I really love this one in particular because of the sea kelp. This shampoo is aimed to moisturize and cleanse for coily hair. Again, I'm big on ingredients, so when I see things that I know are gonna really work, at giving me that moisture I know that it's gonna give me what I need sea kelp contains a lot of vitamins so it's really good for improving strength of your hair and it's also good for giving shine this is the new improved version a lot of people have like their you know their reservations on shea moisture because they feel like the formula has changed but baby when I see anything that says double the moisture I'm here for it this says three times the moisture okay three times the moisture whenever you notice that your hair is dull that means it's thirsty that means that it's not getting enough moisture that it needs without a doubt your hair is always going to let you know what's going on with it whether it needs a trim whether it needs moisture you have to pay attention honestly this shampoo is a creamy consistency i love a creamy consistency you can smell the shea butter in it it's a light not too powerful Again, I'm not here for the set, I'm here for the benefits. Great lather as well. As soon as it hits your scalp, the suds comes. I love a good lather. A lot of people are under the impression that when you wash your hair, that you're only supposed to focus on solely your roots. That's all good and dandy, which is partially true because of course the sebum and the buildup comes from our roots, but it is important also to get the rest of your hair, the rest of your strands and into your ends because there are products that sit on our hair and you can't have a clean scalp and then the rest of your hair is still, you know, dirty or still has like product in it. It's not really getting the job done. So what I love about this is that I'm able to shampoo all of my hair. There are some shampoos that I've tried and I was like, don't even do it. Like, are we going to just stick to the scalp and not even let it touch my ends because I already know I'm going to have to do a lot of repairing with conditioner. This raw shea butter shampoo, you're able to wash your entire hair and it's not going to feel stripped. I'm able to just like, you know, finger detangle it and not feel like, you know, it's a tug of war type of thing because now I done stripped all the oils out of my hair and I need to use a whole jar of conditioner at this point. This is something I keep on deck at all times. I'm actually... Low, you can tell that I've used it because ain't nothing but nothing at the bottom of it. But I will improvise and add some water and shake it up, and we're gonna get a good wash day out of this. Look for things that say moisture on the bottle. Again, there's water in here. So look for the keywords because I told you about the keywords. And then there's glycerin. See the pattern? We're gonna keep hearing the same type of ingredients because these are the ones that are very beneficial to low porosity here, and they really help those that have hair that's just constantly thirsty. So I don't go through the whole ingredient list. I just look for keywords that I know that stand out to me. Moving on to moving on to my shampoo number three, we are going to talk about the Miel Babosu Shampoo. This shampoo is very, very lightweight. This is such a good hydrating shampoo. What I like about it is it has like that minty smell. I love like peppermint, tea tree, minty type of thing because you guys know peppermint and tea tree and all that stuff. It gives you that tingle effect. That lets me know that it's working. So I love the mint smell as it's lathering in my hair. Again, it has a really great lather. Very moisturizing. Again, this is a very good clarifying shampoo. You hear the word clarifying because it's going to get 
the build-up. It's also paraben-free, sulfate-free. It's really good for restoring dry, damaged hair. That also comes from a palm fruit, which is aided to moisturize the hair. It's gonna help to grow your hair at the same time because of the ingredients contained in the shampoo. Another thing that I really like about this shampoo in particular is that in the event you have to wash your hair more than once a week, which I highly recommend don't do, especially with my hair type. I've run into situations where I had to wash my hair twice in one week. This shampoo is gentle enough to do that. So if you're looking for something that's going to allow you to wash your hair more than once a week, if that's what you do and that's what works for your hair, I highly recommend this one because it has that much moisture in it, if that makes sense. If my hair feels the slightest bit dry after washing my hair, then I know that I made a wrong decision. Like, we are not even going to play ourselves to do that again. But if I rinse it out after having no product in my hair whatsoever and I can still feel like my hair looks shiny, doesn't feel coarse, then I know that we're on to something. Number four is another one by Shea Moisture, which is the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Moisturizing Shampoo. So good, as you guys can tell, the key word there is honey. Again, honey is going to give you all of that moisture. Manuka is really good at reducing breakage. It helps to seal in the moisture, to add shine to the hair. It also helps to soothe and just calm the scalp. So it's really good and beneficial for the scalp. You will be so surprised if you add honey into any of your products. Even when it comes to like your conditioners or your stylers, anything with honey, you're gonna see such a difference. You're gonna see that you'll have more moisture for a longer period of time. I always look for products with that. So with Shea Moisture, fragrance is not overpowering, which I really like because sometimes products that are too strong just give me that perfumey, like headache type of thing. I prefer health over a scent any day. It has a really great lather. It does the job at cleansing. And again, my hair always looks super shiny afterwards. And I love, love, love that. And I've damaged my hair a few times in my past. I've dyed it. I have, you know, just done things and dried it out with like products when I didn't have the knowledge of you know products that contained a lot of like silicones and alcohol especially when it came to gels I was like the queen of gels so I know what it feels like and my hair has been through a lot okay I'll be on a struggle bus when it comes to moisture I'll moisturize my hair and then I find myself having to moisturize my hair you know more frequently even though I'll get a few good days out of it but I believe that the products that you use are really important but I also believe it's about like application once you're done washing and shampooing your hair it's like what are you going to do after this process to make sure that you are holding on to that moisture until your next wash yeah. coming in at number five is the curl smith central moisture cleanser which I absolutely love this is bomb okay I don't know I should have put this at number this is a runner up with the first one that I mentioned, but I absolutely love Curl Smith products. Not only the shampoo, but listen, Curl Smith comes through. If you guys want me to do like a different video on like uh, stylers or conditioners, I'll definitely do that. But we, we talking about the shampoo right now. This is such a gentle cleanser and exactly what it says on the bottle is, is, is exactly what it does. It's very gentle on the scalp, but very effective at cleansing and removing build up it's gentle enough to do use every day if needed to it's that gentle and if you're somebody who likes to wash your hair every day or every other day this will be your go-to because the ingredients are not harsh they're not drying there's no parabens there's no sulfate none of that stuff that's nasty drying and just harsh to the hair it's safe to say you can use this on a frequent basis if need be the shampoo is also protein free which is something that i want to mention with low porosity hair we are protein sensitive so using products that contain protein are another con to low price of the hair because it's drying to the hair. It's important to have that balance with getting protein treatments from time to time, but using it on a daily basis can definitely be harsh to the hair. Protein don't really like the low porosity hair. Protein can dry the hair, dry the strands out, make it more brittle, and it can start breaking very easy. So you want to look for shampoos that are protein free. All different curl types can benefit from this and also this shampoo and hydration is increased by 87%. So you know that you're getting that maximum hydration, that maximum moisture. Really great ingredients such as rosemary, which is amazing. If you guys don't know, I've done videos on rosemary right on my hair and the benefits of it. So if you're interested, I'll link it here, here, or in the description. Rosemary is the goat as well. Sunflower seed oil, which is bomb. And of course, there's the aloe leaf. So as you can see with all the shampoos that I mentioned, there is a frequency in the same type of ingredient. So if you want to make sure that when you are searching for your products, just continuously look at the same ingredients. You don't need to keep wasting any more money buying products just because they're new. Somebody else told you about it because 
those products that somebody else is using may not work or may not aid in the issues with your hair type. You all have different hair issues. Some people have issues with thinning of the hair. So you want to look for products that are going to give you more volume and strengthen and regrow the hair. Some people have dry hair like me, low porosity hair is always thirsty. So you want products that are going to give you moisture, not products that are going to really thicken your hair. You know what I'm saying? So there's different categories for different hair needs. These are my top five shampoos that I definitely use. I do have some more. So if you guys are interested, I can do a part two and you know, spill the tea and give you guys what you need to know because I know that along my natural hair journey, I didn't have anybody that was like, girl, you need to do this, girl, you need to do that. I had to literally go through trial and error every single time along this journey. But I will say, once you learn your hair and you know what your hair likes, you don't have to worry about stressing about like what products are gonna work for you. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. So let me know if you watched the video. Comment down below the washing of the hair emoji. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will catch you in my next upload. Simply share. Simply Michelle. Oh.